how you guys doing what's going on party crashers girl i got some updates on black china and africa and what really went down why they really was fighting honey y'all ready for this first make sure you guys like the video share the video subscribe to the youtube channel <laughs> living fearless all right, so let's get on right on to it, okay? And Black China Mama, Tony Tokyo, she is still renting off. And she is very, being very offensive to a lot of people. She's telling people, you know, to, to wash that dirt off you, meaning dark-skinned people. You know, you need to wash that dirt off of you. And I don't know. I think she got it confused. It seemed like her mom was chiming off of the fight that she's seen on social media but i don't think she knew the backstory of it you know they i don't know i think she just went off based on everybody on social media dogging her for selling that skin bleach cream and i think she felt that the reason why they was fighting her because they didn't want her to promote the skin bleach cream over there right that's what I think I could be wrong. Either way it go, she was very disrespectful, very offensive to so many people. All right? But y'all still going to laugh and key, key, key. And that, that's a damn sad. Okay? So, anywho, let's move on. So, based... Oh, well, hold on. I ain't done with her. Okay? So, in the live, you know, I, it's so offensive. And we talked about it before prior you know, we, we did, I got the video, check out the video a couple of days ago, but <laughs> where can I start off, okay? This girl is a mess. She says that her daughter is light-skinned, and why wouldn't she sell the, 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 the bleaching cream because she's light-skinned? That doesn't make any sense. The best person to sell a bleaching cream is somebody that actually used the product and it worked on them. Okay, and um, <laughs> I know, listen, I've seen the pictures of Black China. She used to be brown skin, now she's light skin, and that's the reason why I feel like they used her for the promotion, you know, to get advertisers because she have went brown from light skin. And her mama out here just looking silly and dumb, okay, talking out the butt. We all saw the pictures, girl. We know she did not come out the womb light skin looking Spanish and stuff as she say it, okay? And it's so, it, y'all, it, it, you know what? Colorism is real. And and y'all, I'm just going to leave it alone. We'll talk about that on another video because I'm getting irritated. But anywho, um, that's what it is. So... That's why I feel like they picked Black China. So basically, let me tell you why they was getting upset with her. They said that Black China, she was booked for an event over in Africa, right? Selling a skin bleaching cream. She showed up at the event late. And they said not only did she show up late, honey, she was drunk and high, okay? And then had the nerves to only want to stay there for 30 minutes and was leaving and when she was leaving, you know, people paid to see her. And that's what start a brawl. And it was like, bitch, I'm not having it, ho. Don't you think you too mighty and good to come see about us? We paid for you to be here. You going to need to entertain us and see us for a while. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to just get 30 minutes and run and leave with our money. You know, so they wasn't having it, so that's why they was coming for her. It was her fans. Ain't that something? Her fans wasn't having it, and that's where everything sparked at because they wanted her to stay longer. I guess they're very aggressive over there. I'm not sure. I don't understand, but make sure you guys comment. Let us know what you thought. What do you think about Tonio Tokyo seeing those offensive um language to dark skinned people and people still following her and laughing at the stuff it's like you have if you have a racist somebody that's coming out saying racial stuff you still gonna have people that's gonna like them and follow them is it because that's how they truly feel too or is it because they see besides that and be like oh that's nothing you know they're entertaining at the end of the day 
where do people morals and integrity lie do we don't have any anymore and it don't matter what a motherfucker person do as long as we like them then we chilling with them see i'm a different breed i can like you all day i can love your music but if you do something that i feel that is low that's offensive I will no longer support you. I don't care how entertaining you are. I don't care how good your music is. I'm not dealing with you, okay? I'm not giving you no energy whatsoever. And that's that. However, I know everybody's not like me. So, hey, you know? So, make sure you comment, like, and share. And then another thing, I feel like when people have those type of behaviors and I follow them and I'm entertaining them, I feel like they see it as a pat on the back to continue their rhetoric. And a lot of people, they continue the propaganda and the rhetoric because they have so many followers. Everybody's watching. Even though you may have people say, I don't agree with that. That's wrong. You, people still watching. They still get numbers. They want to do it for fame. You're like, come on now. But I love you guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Then later. Bye.